In Stratford-upon-Avon, where William Shakespeare was born and buried, scholars have spent centuries mulling over melancholy Shakespeare, the playwright a master of both tragedy and comedy. But can you ever have one without the other? When I started doing this right in the 80s, I moved to London and I didn't know anyone. So I went on Dateline, right, which wasn't on the internet. He was sent a form in the post, right? <laughs> <laughs> Enter stand-up and screenwriter Stuart Lee, who's been busy rewriting Shakespeare. Post, Obviously, Shakespeare's really excited about collaborating with me. <laughs> I'm sure he's looking down on us now with a tear in his eye. He's certainly looking down, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't dream of speaking for the Bard, but the Royal Shakespeare Theatre can. Ladies and gentlemen, from Macbeth. In their new take on Macbeth, directed by scene, Wills Wilson, Stuart three, Lee gives the yeah. scene of the drunken porter a comedy makeover. When you need a laugh, you don't instinctively think, I'm going to deep dive into Macbeth. No, although obviously <laughs> Shakespeare did. Somebody did at some point. When Wills, the director, asked me to do it, she said, it's like a piece of stand-up. And it sort of is, because he comes out, he talks directly to the audience, he does some jokes, and then he goes off. So, yeah, you could do that. And for people that are a bit foggy, the porter scene, there's a moment, you know, we see the gates of hell. Yeah. I mean, have you found the funny side to this, Stuart? The weird thing is, we live in a time of such obvious, massive public corruption that it's quite easy to move those things sideways into it. You doing my bed for GCSE, yeah? Huh? The porter is played by Alison Peebles, who says, don't worry, for the traditionalists among you, she'll still bring some macabre to Macbeth. My porter is really grumpy. Really? And doesn't want to be there. I think I, my, I have this sort of feeling that my porter has been in this castle from dynasties. And she's like, I've seen it all. <laughs> seen it all, been there, done that. You're rubbish, don't care, I'm off. <laughs> Why were they vain? While You're Macbeth and Lady Macbeth, Macbeth played by Reuben Joseph and Valen Cain, say Shakespeare may have been edgy for the Elizabethans, but now he's entirely relatable. It's a toxic relationship, but it is filled with love. Mm. Um, which, yeah, it's Which like, feels more modern. I feel mm -hmm. like, I don't know, it just feels to me how relationships are now, in Yeah, a way. It, exi it exists in the grey, doesn't it? Yeah. And definitely, definitely. People haven't changed in 400 years, really. I think our, our, our core, our, our systems and our frames of reference might adapt to, to the world as it changes, but we, at our core, haven't changed. Shakespeare himself may predate cancel culture by a few centuries, but as an Elizabethan man, not all his work has aged well. Are you somebody that kind of feels in the era, for want of a better phrase, that, you know, woke has killed the joke? Do you feel like you're kind of constantly at risk of being cancelled as a comedian? Or, or no, do not at all. I think, I think woke's been a really good influence on comedy. I think that um, anything that makes people think about what they're doing is really great. I think it's still, I think it's still possible to be offensive and shocking. I think... A, a key element of comedy is about being offensive and shocking. But I think you need to know why you're doing that and why you've chosen to do it. Stuart Lee is fresh from the Edinburgh Fringe, where he says the cost of living is hampering comedians. People can't afford to do it. It becomes accessible only to the elites. The rents are too high for people to be able to go there and nothing's being funded. Um, it's still, when you get there and you kind of, it's the same as Glastonbury, when you come over the hill and you look at it, you know that the programming's not as radical as it was and loads of people are you know, gonna sit around drinking Prosecco and watching Lionel Richie, ironically. Which brings us to our final question for the cast and crew of Macbeth. Can you ever have tragedy without comedy, do you think? Can you ever have tragedy without comedy? That's a really we've, good, really, we've got really all day. good question. You just let's okay. muse on it. <laughs> okay, well, I think, right, I don't think you can. There is that, I don't know, there's some kind of morbid line between tragedy and, and humour because we're so uncomfortable with intense emotions in general. Good drama has always got light and shade, night and dark. You could be forgiven for thinking some Macbeth productions haven't always been a complete scream, but in this adaptation, Shakespeare has the last laugh.